Hello everyone, this is a new episode of the Quick Tips and Tricks series. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comment section. Have a nice watching. Okay, many of you asked me how I change the background color. In fact, there is no special trick, I just choose the color I want. Then with the rectangle tool, I make a rectangle from the top left to the bottom right of the document. Then I go to object, lock, then I click on selection. Now, I zoom in, and I can work freely on my new background. Now, I will show you how to make a 3D smooth gradient text effect. We will only need those three windows, color, gradient, and transparency. If you don't see it, you can activate it by going to window, and check the option you need. First, with the text tool, type any letter you want. I will use my name's initial for this. I will go with Gotham font. With the eyedropper, pick a color. Right click, and click on create outlines. Go to effect, 3D, then click on extrude and bevel. This window will pop up, check the preview box to see real time result. Set this at zero and this at minus 25%, and this at 20. You can set any position you want. Now, change the extrude depth to about 400 points. Or maybe 500. I'll set it to 600. Press OK. And while the shape selected, go to Object, and click on Expand Appearance. With the Direct Selection tool, select the front letter, then press Ctrl X to cut it, then press Ctrl F to paste it in front. We did this to separate the letter from the 3D effect. Now, with the Normal Selection tool, select the 3D effect. And from the gradient window, click on this basic gradient. Now click on the color of the letter, then select the 3D effect again. Now you can see the color of the letter here, hold click and drag it to the gradient slider. A gradient stop will be added, now drag down the black one to take it off. And bring this to the end. Now, with the eyedropper, click on the background color. And select the 3D effect again, and from the color panel, drag it to the gradient slider. Drag down the white stop, and bring this one to left. Then drag this diamond icon to the right, like this. Select the letter, press Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl F to paste it in front, and from the gradient panel, select the basic gradient. With the gradient tool, adjust it a little. Then from the transparency panel, change the color mode to soft light. Again, select the front letter. Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl F to paste it in front. Empty the fill color. Then give the stroke the color white. And then increase the size to 3 points. Go to effect, then blur, and then click on Gaussian blur. Change the radius to 25 pixels, and then press OK. Go to the transparency panel, and change the color mode to overlay. 
So, this is it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for your attention, and see you in another video.